Hey, how are you guys doing? It's Tyler here from Innovation, and today we'd like to show you guys what it's like to develop Fury apps in VS Code. So, for the people who aren't familiar, VS Code offers an extension marketplace, which increases the power of VS Code through extensions. These extensions let you add languages, debuggers, and tools to support your development workflow. To browse the extensions, let's click on the building blocks here. This opens the extension marketplace, listing the most popular extensions. Let's select the SAP Fury Tools expansion pack. Here we can see stuff like the publisher, the download count, and a five star rating. And then below we can see which extensions belong to the pack and of course the extension details. So the SAP Fury Tools extension pack has been published by SAP themselves. It contains six useful extensions that simplify the development of Fury Elements applications. Included are the Application Wizard, Application Modeler, Guided Development, Service Modeler, XML Annotation Language Server, and XML Toolkit. Now, we already have this installed and ready to go, so let's move on to the next extension we want to use, which is the UI5 Language Support. This extension provides some nice features for UA5, like autocomplete, auto insertion, suggestions, tooltips, and so on. So we feel like this one, together with the Fury tools, are the most relevant for UA5 development. We already have this one installed as well, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's use Yeoman to generate a template for our app. To do that, let's open the command palette and type Yeoman UI generators. Now, as we can see, only the SAP Fury Elements generator is available. We'll use that one later, but for now let's add some more template generators. To do this, we click in the upper right corner link that says Explore and Install Generators. This opens the Yeoman Generator Library. Let's filter all the SAP generators by typing Add SAP in the search bar. Now let's go ahead and install all the available generators. Okay, now that's finished, let's head back. And as we can see, here's all our freshly installed SAP generators. Let's select the Fury Freestyle SAP UI5 application. Click Next. Now, this should look familiar to all our Web IDE users out there. We get the option to choose one of the best practice floor plans. But let's just choose a Freestyle project for now and click Next. Now we need to select our data source and service. Let's click on the drop down menu here. And we can choose from to connect to an SAP system, to an OData service, or upload a metadata document. Let's choose connect to an OData service. Now it's asking us for our OData service URL. Luckily I have it copied to my clipboard, so I can just paste it in here. And now it's asking for our credentials. and log in. Okay, next. Now, it's asking us for our view name. Let's make it companies. And hit next. Okay, now it's asking for some project attributes, module name, let's call it freestyle companies, application title, application namespace, and let's click finish. Then we get a notification saying the project has been generated. Great, so we're good to go now for developing our UI5 project. 
This was it though for our short introduction on VS Code extensions and the Yeoman template generator. During our webinar we'll be taking a deeper dive into developing Yoi 5 in VS Code. So if you're interested in the main advantages and key features of VS Code, or if you're just wondering if you can use VS Code with your current project, feel free to join our webinar Monday the 30th of November. You can find the link to sign in in the description below. Thank you and I hope to see you guys there.